Now, Big Mom has had the Soul Sword ever since she was five years old. I think there's a high chance that she's an awakened dev user, which would ultimately take her already overpowered ability to above and beyond. And I think one of the prerequisites for being awakened might be the longevity of having a set dev fruit. Now, it's been stated by Do Flamingo that it happens on rare occasions for one's fruit to be awakened. And I think having a deeper connection to the soul might lead to one being awakened or achieving that level of dev fruit control. Hopefully this gets explained later in the future because awakening is still very vague. We don't really know the steps on how to become awakened. We only have what was stated by Doflamingo. And something to also note is that the only two confirmed awakened dev for users have Conqueror's Hockey, which is Doflamingo and Katakuri. So perhaps Conqueror's Hockey could be a requirement to achieve awakening, but that's a huge maybe, but definitely something to note. But going back to Big Mom here, so when it comes to the full potential of a Yonko, we have yet to see what a full powered Yonko looks like, and Big Mom being one of those individuals, she definitely has a lot more to show. But we're not here to talk about power levels, that's for a completely different video. I'm here to talk about the Soso fruit and how the ability works, because it honestly might be one of the fruits that has the power to interact with other fruits. Now, there's another fruit that has the same power to do the same thing, but I'll get back to that later in this video. But before we get into this video, guys, like the video and subscribe if you're new here. Now, it's heavily hinted that devil fruits are fruits that host some kind of soul slash spirit, and that this soul or spirit is the actual thing that gives the user set power from set fruit, not the fruit itself. The fruit is only used as a shell in order for people to gain access or to attain set ability because these souls do not have a physical form, which is why they use fruits to attain some form of a physical body. And we actually got more information in Drist Rosa and it was explained that once a devil fruit user dies, the soul wanders till it finds a new fruit and which that fruit will eventually become a devil fruit. And just like we saw in the case of Smiley during Punk Hazard, whereas once he died, the fruit got reanimated into one of the apples that was close by. And we also saw that the flamingo obtained Ace's fruit post time skip. Now, where he actually got the fruit from, we're not entirely sure. But given that he was also in Marine Ford at that point in time when Ace died, perhaps he had figured something out in the same fashion as Blackbeard. And so one can say that when a person eats a devil fruit, the soul within the fruit merges with the user physically, but also in a spiritual sense, therefore giving the user the power of a devil fruit. And with that being said, we can say that devil fruit users are essentially people with two souls within them, the very soul of the user and that of the devil. And this is a topic that I'm going to go more in depth in a separate video because this also correlates to the reason why devil fruit users are unable to use hockey while under the effects of sea stone. We know hockey sometimes takes on the traits of a devil fruit. For example, Luffy's hockey gains elasticity when he goes into gear fourth. Same with Katakuri with his ornament where it's was stated to be hard, but it's also sticky when he uses bus cut mochi and Oda makes this very apparent because the hockey takes on the shape of a spiral like a devil fruit but this idea also goes the other way whereas you also get the drawbacks so once a person eats a devil fruit the soul is kind of intertwined and this comes with the benefits but it also comes with the drawbacks as well but i'll leave this for a different video and so we've seen cases where devil fruits can be given to inanimate objects and these objects gain a consciousness of their own and this should remind you of how big mom's powers work she can infuse souls into inanimate objects and once infused, they have a consciousness of their own and these objects gain the consciousness of the people that it was taken off of. This is why when Pudding used her abilities on the homies, the souls had memories of the person it was taken off of, right? So these souls possesses traits of said person and this is going to be important moving forward. Now Big Mom has these soul incarnations, pieces of Big Mom's very own soul that takes lifespan from the citizens of Total Land. And what's very interesting here is that just like i mentioned earlier about the souls taking on the traits of the users that it was taken off of big mom's incarnations also possesses her own devil fruit ability which is why they are able to take lifespan from the citizens which gives more validity to why people with devil fruits have souls that have been warped or merged in some way and again this all goes back to why luffy couldn't use hockey while under the effects of the sea stone because his hockey has also gained the weakness of his devil fruit because the souls have now merged and the reason why I think devil fruit souls are an actual thing is that when you come to the case of Smiley uh, during Punk Hazard, which is a gas that ate a devil fruit, 
And again, Caesar probably used the same process that he's used to put dead fruits into weapons, but in this case, he used gas, which is a lot different from the other methods that we've seen throughout the course of the story. And so what we are actually seeing here is the soul manifested into a physical form which essentially confirms that souls within devil fruits do have a form and some form of consciousness or will now in whole cake island we were given the first mention of big mom's power by pound which is the soul soul fruit an ability that gives her the power to control souls she's able to extract souls from people in a form of lifespan which can only be achieved if the person willingly accepts to have their soul taken or forcefully when the person shows signs of fear she's also capable of infusing souls into inanimate objects and animals which in return humanizes them in the process and this goes back to my earlier point of big mom's soul incarnation having the same ability as big mom herself now i think it's easily the most versatile ability in the entire series if not the most versatile given the fact that she can make anything into a homie. Now, just like every devil fruit in One Piece, the soul soul fruit also has its drawbacks or its limits. And one of the bigger ones is that she cannot infuse souls into the human corpses, dead or alive. This was the explanation given to us by Pound. Obviously, this was a limiter that Oda placed on this fruit because this would have been the One Piece version of Edo Tente, whereas she would be able to bring people back from the dead using the souls of others. So I think that's the reason why there's that limit. Now, it never said that she could only harness the souls of people or it had to be human souls specifically. And so I came to the conclusion that Big Mom could potentially harness other souls such as that of Devil Fruit abilities. Obviously, this would be a higher level of her fruit's power, maybe some sort of awakening because if Big Mom can take people's souls at a base level, we can only imagine what her awakening would be and that is supposedly the next step for a devil fruit's power and obviously this is going to be different from the likes of katakuri and doflamingo because her fruit doesn't work in the same fashion as those guys and this wouldn't be the first time we might see a devil fruit ability interact with other devil fruits directly and this all goes back to blackbeard blackbeard's yami yami no mi was the first example we saw whereas his devil fruit power allows him to precisely absorb or pull the body of them for users in which if he's able to touch you directly he can stop one's ability from working and obviously you being a devil free user is key of why he's able to do that and the way he words it that he's able to precisely draw the body it makes it seem like it's something within the user that has been drawn and that thing is the soul and perhaps this is the reason his fruit is considered to be the strongest because it's an ability that that is able to triumph over all other devil fruits and we also know blackbeard is also one of the most knowledgeable individuals when it comes to devil fruit and we also know that he was able to somehow steal whitebeard's fruit through in marine ford which more than likely has something to do with his power to stop their fruit abilities as well now my head canon of how it happened was that once whitebeard died the soul of the devil was released but instead of going through the reincarnation cycle that it usually goes through blackbeard stopped it before it could happen he then used an ability that is similar to dark vortex which is the same ability that he uses to negate the fruit abilities and he was then able to pull in the soul before it escapes now i personally think that him stealing the fruit and him having two fruits are two separate things however i do think that the darkness fruit plays a huge role into why he's able to do that so going back to big mom here big mom could very well have some sort of ability that is very similar to blackbeard that allows her to interact or affect every fruit souls given the definition of the soul soul fruit and i always think about why big mom has a devil fruit crew that surrounds the idea of food like how, why does all her commanders have all these food related devil fruit perhaps her soul soul fruit plays a part into obtaining these devil fruits because maybe she's able to identify which fruit has what soul in it but what do you guys think about this comment out below what you guys think um like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more one piece content it is pharaoh and i will see you folks later peace